Okay, John, you've uh, decided to um, blow the whistle, if you like. I don't know if that's the right terminology. Blow the whistle. Go public on um, what's been happening in the honorary system, as, as far as you understand it. Can you fill us in a little bit in? Yes. Um, uh, last year, I reported a colleague on suspicion of drink driving. I, I phoned up the state's police. Uh, the reason why I did this, I thought if one I reported it to one of the second years that were in the parish hall, nothing would get done. And also in my training with the state's police, we were told that if you, you thought of any of your colleagues breaking the law, you should phone up the state's police, which I did. So you did that, you, and um, what, what did you actually report? I reported a, a colleague a suspicion of drink driving. Um, I explained the facts to them and they acted on it. The States of Jersey Police acted on it? Yes, I didn't know the outcome of what happened. Um, and the following morning, I received a phone call from Len Norman, who's the Constable of St Clements stating that if I went out on duty, there would be war with other officers. And also, the following day, I went to go and see my duty centenaire, and he told me a ventineer, not the one I reported, also said that if I went out on duty, she would call all the officers off. And I thought that was terrible. So, let me get this right. You've done the correct thing that you were trained to do, yes. to report a potential crime to the states of Jersey police. What do they mean by there would be war if you were turned up for, if you turned up for duty? Well, the, the constable never explained. I asked him what he meant, and he said, "Don't go out on duty. Uh, this was summary fate and a cancer run." But he, he did state that I could go out and do my evening duties which I found very peculiar. Because uh, uh, we want to just put a bit of background to this. You were a, uh, a constable's officer, an honorary policeman for a number of years. Three years in St Clements. And before that? Three years in St Sega's. So you've got six years under your belt. You've been praised by the constable. I've read an article in the Parish Magazine where you were praised by your constable. So now that you've uh, blown the whistle, uh, as we say, You've been, is it fair to say you've been ostracised? You've been... I've been ostracised and I've been hounded out of the honorary system, which I'm a great believer in. How have you been hounded out? Um, well, when I was told by the constable not to go out on my duty during the day to help two great organisations in a summary manner, FATE, which raises money for local charities, and a charity run which is in memory of a, of a state's police officer who died of cancer, if I went out on those two duties, um, other St Clemens officers would walk off. And I found that disgusting. So the other, the, these other officers got wind that you had reported one, one of your own, if you like? Yes, without no proof. So would it be fair to say this is like an old boys network certainly at work here certainly so you you're no longer why why are you no longer did you resign were you were you sacked for as, a, as an officer well i i resigned from st clement's honorary because um after the comments made by the constable i thought i cannot work with my fellow officers that's the way they felt so i put in a letter of resignation and uh, i went in to take I dropped in my identity card and said I would, in the next few days, drop in my uniform. And then I got a phone call from Mr Norman's secretary to say, until the Attorney General accepted my resignation, I was still a servant officer. And because I'm a great believer in the Honorary Police, I decided to carry on my duties until my resignation was accepted. Um, I didn't go into the parish hall for any duties because I felt that nobody would speak to me and it would be uncomfortable and wouldn't be fair to the members of the public who were in there for different reasons if there was an atmosphere. So I kept away from the parish hall but I went out on my duties and I brought in a fair amount of money, i.e. speeders and other offences. And because at, at no time 
that the constable, Len Norman, or the chef de police, Eddie Caldera, call me in for a meeting. A meeting for what? About the issue of me supposed, supposedly reporting a fellow officer on suspicion of drink driving. Because am, right, am I right in understanding other people did give a statement? In, yes. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, the people who were in the parish hall that night uh, gave a statement to the chef de police. I was sent two emails by the chef uh, de police. The first one stating that there wasn't a witch hunt against me. And the second one, he put in, an easy, he, in his email, his events of, of what he saw that night, saying that he didn't smell alcohol on the person I reported and what I send in, in my version of events um, I didn't feel I should do because I felt I hadn't broken any law and yet I wasn't chased up they didn't uh, insist on you making a statement no. like others did no and um, on the day before of my last duty I was doing tra road traffic outside La Hog pub uh, with two of my fellow officers and Mr. Norman came out and I was standing in the middle of the road. He came out into the middle of the road and said he would get to the bottom of the issue. And I thought, what issue? And he just walked off. Because there, there seems to be like a bit of a contradictory statement here, if you like, um, you're a supporter of the honorary system. But it's an old boys net. We, 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 we agree it's an old boys network. And how do, you, how do you marry the two, if you like? How can you be a supporter of this system but also it is a, uh, it's an old boys network that all look after each other and ostracise anybody, well, certainly yourself, who speaks out and tries to do the right thing. Yeah, um, there are a lot of good officers in the honorary police. Uh, there's just a few bad eggs and you can't do anything against them. Uh, it was on no malice I reported this person on suspicion of drink driving. In my opinion, I thought he had been drinking. And that's why I decided to phone the state's police. So after six years in the honorary police, you're, if you like, ostracised, you're out, you're thrown out, but you, you um, thought you, you wanted to carry on and join... Gravel honorary. Uh, another honorary. And what, what happened there after you tried to join the Gravel honorary police? Well, as soon as I resigned St Clement's, uh, I went up to Gravel Parish Hall, explained that I'd resigned and they were willing to accept me. Uh, they had the paperwork for me to fill in. I took it home and signed it. And I was meant to, I had a meeting with the Grivel constable, Mr. Lamach, and the chef de police who was there. And just before I went into this meeting, the chef de police said to me that they don't want scoundrels in the honorary system. Scoundrels? That's what, his words, scoundrels. And no other explanation. Um, I went into this meeting with the constable of Greville and the chef of police of Greville. I was presented with a, a letter, which wasn't headed, but on Greville Parish No Paper, given permission for the AG and the constable to go through all my, any police department, uh, any state's departments that held information about me. And I thought this was wrong because I'd already filled in my application um, and I had a very good record. Because the, what they were doing is fishing because you originally denied that you, it was you that reported the event in the Air Force suspected drink driving. Why did you originally deny that? Because at that time there was an ongoing investigation which came to my attention and I didn't want to make this public because whatever investigation the state's police were doing, I didn't want to interfere with it. So obviously, so that then they wanted you to give permission to, to the honorary system and the, the Conatab to look at any state of Jersey police file with your or any state's department, which the letter stated was any state's department. But I knew they wanted my records of my telephone. They wanted to get proof and evidence that it was you who blew the whistle on this suspected Ventaneer drink driver. That's correct. After your six plus years as a constable's officer and, and being um, supportive of the honorary system, what would you say to anybody now or to, to the viewers or anybody who's, who's considering joining the constable's officers? I would 
anybody joining the honorary system, and, and this makes me laugh because two weeks ago there was a sentinel on the radio of St Savers saying that more young people should join the honorary police force. And I had to laugh to myself because I thought, if you join and you should suspect a fellow officer of committing a crime or about to commit a crime, don't you can't report it because this will happen to you. What, what's happened to me? That, so would it, again. Um, because I know the, the, the Jersey Child Abuse Inquiry is looking at the, the parish system, the centenaries and centenaries, um sort of thing. So would you say to them, would you agree with me that there is, I think we've established there's an old boys network going on here and it's not what you know, it's who you know. Certainly, but as I said before, not all honorary officers are bad. There are some bad ones and I've come across some bad ones just recently in St Clements and Greville. And would you suggest that young people do join the uh, honorary system or what sort of advice would you give them if, if, they, if they do join? I would tell anybody to think very, very carefully um, about joining the honorary police. One, it's the hours you have to put in and two, that if you came up against, as I said before, a fellow officer, you think that was committing a crime or had committed a crime and you reported it to the appropriate authorities, then all hell would break loose against you. Or to put it another way, would it be fair to say, if you see wrongdoing going on in the honorary system... Turn a blind eye. Turn a blind eye. Yes. 